Hello guys, welcome back to SysGamer. Today I'm gonna give you some tutorial about PCSX2 1.5 to get it work with any games of PlayStation 2. So without further ado, I'm gonna show this setting. So I'm gonna get my magnifier. Zoom it so you guys can see what the setting that I use. So the BIOS, I'm using the latest version, 2.30. Uh, emulation setting, I don't, I don't uh, set every other scene. Well, just just to give it to you guys what I, what kind of setting that I use, but I simply not. Uh, not checks or setting on the emulation setting, but wait for fatal uh, wait for freezing on the refresh. Uh, some people say that it's work with a freezing uh, shattering issue, so I'm set it to the standard instead to disable it or change to the adapt adaptive. So that's for the emulation. We'll pass the video to the core. Oh, you already see that on the emulation setting, so I don't really set anything else on that. To the video, to the plugin. So, so in this here, uh, on the render, I'm using the OpenGL hardware. The OpenGL hardware is simply not work with some of the game, but if you see on the video that I made about the tutorial about uh, S Combat series or Final Fantasy Dirge of Cerberus PlayStation 2 setting the different thing that I switched the render from the OpenGL to Direct 11 hardware so that so that's just a different other thing and and the setting what I use on the S Combat uh, 5 is still the same. A legacy uh, part is checked, uncheck the frame and the memory auto plus and disable is keep it unchecked and check the mark reload on scale where arms effectively. If you don't know what it's doing, you can simply just hover the mouse and you see uh, the info about the setting. So you know, let's go to this. As for example, the memory warping, uh, warping, it's emulate the memory warping accurately and fix some issue, but it's gonna impact with the performance. So I'm just gonna simply just uncheck that because I know it's gonna uh, issue with the performance. So, so it's okay. Uh, yeah. Internal internal resolution T X native is just for the image resolution, so it's gonna be uh, looks beauty on the bigger resolution. If you had a lower spec, you can simply go to the native or to X native. Enable history hacks, blending accurate accuracy. I'm using basic, so it's gonna have a big impact on the performance. So let's. So let's test on the game. So I'm using the OpenGL, but what's gonna happen if I play the game? Or for example, Resident Evil Outbreak. So let's zoom that. Loading screen is okay, 6 FPS, nothing happened. So, player scenario. Right. Yeah. Uh, 
Opening looks fine. Don't have any glitches on it. So just skip it. So as you can see on the OpenGL setting, its impact on the performance we get only a 48 FPS on the gameplay. But let's skip that. So pause the game. So so with OpenGL setting, it's gonna impact uh, on the performance on the Resident Evil Outbreak. But what happened if we just change? The render to the direct 3d11 hardware so so you guys convert OpenGL to the direct 3d11 hardware and there's some the game yeah uh, game performance blew fluid to 60 fps without any problem the image is fine the image is fine HD, some other way. Yep. So as you can see, the different thing between OpenGL and Direct 3D hardware. Uh, that simply sometimes not work with some other game, but just simply of that. So the shutdown. But what? Oh, so uh, hold on. So yeah. So Direct 11 hardware. So Direct 11 hardware is almost worked with any uh, other games uh, on DS Combat uh, 5 and 4, uh, 5 and 0, the Belkin. It works. I don't know what the effects on it, but I guess it's all about the effects and blurry things. Because on the on DS Combat, if you change it from the hardware. Uh, direct 3d11 to the OpenGL still works and if you using the direct 3d11 hardware it's still gonna work so but of this thing it just works on the S combat but not work with some of the game but the OpenGL mostly work with every game mostly almost but not all of them so so direct to the 11 hardware, what's gonna happen if I play a Gundam? Oh, sorry. Uh, oh, wait. I saw the health. Yeah, I know. Okay. <laughs> So what happened if I play Gundam with the Direct 3D11? Fast zoom out. What is great? But the logo is not showing up. In the opening, it's, it's buggy. We're gonna give you a black screen background. And the gameplay simply not gonna work. So, so as you can see the background not works. And it's also gonna impact when you play the game. It's just simply gonna black screen, pitch black, but the game runs. And that's the problem. So all you just need just back to the plugin setting and from the directory 11 hardware just set back to the OpenGL. Oh sorry, just have to restart the game to see what happened. Uh, reset again, okay. So the logo show up correctly, 
Bandai Fiveware Technology Buy. Oh man, I love this game. So the opening works, but how about the gameplay? So as you can see, the gameplay don't have any work, uh, problem. It just works fully. Everything's fine. It hates the resolution, good image. Oh, yeah, simply fine. Simply fine, and it don't have any work problem uh, on the impact, performance, or everything else. So. So yeah. So if you want, um, or maybe we can check what happens in the Metal Gear Solid if I play with the settings. Uh, so in case now I'm using the OpenGL, like a Gundam set. So let's boot it up. Zoom out. Okay. Man, economy, what? Way far. <laughs> Openings looks fine. Don't have any more problem. So, so let's skip that. Restart. Oh shit. I had to use circle. New game. Normal. Well, let's let's jump to the gameplay, guys. Sorry about the noise on the background. <laughs> the Hudson River, two years ago. Yeah, it's a uh, two years ago. Six FPS works fine. Open GL hardware. Can I chase uh, back to the in game? Okay, what about if I ch uh, change it to the directory the 11 hardware? Well, I remember it's just gonna be blurry, but well, assume. The former fine. The image still fine with the effects and everything. So simply with both settings this game just runs fine without get any problem. But Somehow it's it's a little bit some blurry effect with, without any reason, but you can check it by yourself. What's gonna affect if you uh, use the OpenGL or the different with using the 3D11 hardware? But simply the games run fine without have any problem. This is Snake. Do you read me, Art? So with both setting Metal Gear Solid don't have any uh, don't have any problem. So it's fine. So yeah. So guys, this is my setting, and this setting is almost work with uh, every game on the PlayStation 2. Not, not every game, but almost game, almost. Uh, PlayStation 2 game works with this setting. So if you had problem with some game that had FPS problem or maybe glitches, you can 
just switch back from the DirectX 11 hardware to OpenGL hardware. It's gonna affect uh simply just affect with the glitches and the performance. So th that's it for the video today. I hope this tutorial help you with a game with on the PlayStation 2. And don't forget that I'm using the PCSX2 1.5 on the latest version on the website. You can check on the official website to just go to the download and the GitHub version which is uh, the development version so I hope this video helped you guys so I see you guys in the next video